you know when you have to get up at like four in the morning and you're like i'm gonna crush this day and then it's 10 o'clock and you're like it's still today what's up my name is chris tay i'm a photographer and videographer based in ontario canada good things grow They shoot portraits, events, weddings. Basically, if there's a person in the photo, I probably want to take it. I want to talk today about something that I was talking with my partner about on the way to the airport today. So she was on her way to Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, North America, Earth. So we're heading to the airport and we were talking about books because she is a very avid book reader. Uh, she's got an awesome bookstagram that you can go check out. I will leave it down here, down there, over there somewhere wherever you see stuff we were talking about books and i had asked her you know i think the first question i asked was like what book would you recommend for me of all the books you've read and then we got talking about different books that we like and one of the things that i brought up was the fact that a lot of times with books i have sort of a hard time letting go you know i finish a book and it's there's a, a moment in time at least where i'm like a little bit sad a little bit depressed because i'm like I've just spent so much time with these characters and with this world and then it's just gone. I have a bit of a low period, right? It's like the book is this like beautiful, amazing, mesmerizing thing and then I finish and I close the book and I'm like, oh, what now? Do y'all have this experience? And I was thinking about it more and I was thinking about how this actually kind of relates to photography and videography and experiences that we have. And sometimes with your creative career, you can go through these like kind of peaks and valleys and we've all had this where you have like this slump where you like don't want to create and sometimes it comes after a really traumatic experience but sometimes it also comes out of a really great experience and so I think um, there's this sort of like undulating thing that happens where if you have one of these like big experiences it can be hard to know how to bounce back so that's what I want to talk about today sort of the peaks and valleys of the uh, creative endeavor that we're all a part of. I'm guessing if you're watching this, you're kind of a part of that too. Sometimes I have this thing that I would call like post session sadness. Let's say you do like a really great session or you do like a really fun wedding or uh, you go to, or this is a good one. You go to like a really cool conference and you learn a bunch of stuff. I find that sometimes after that, I have this kind of dip where I'm like, man, that was really cool. That was really fun and really exciting. What now? Like I just go, back to life I go back and I sweep the floor and do the dishes and then I have to like figure out how to sort of like move forward from that experience I don't know I I, I feel that a lot of the time it's is it does this resonate with anybody here leave a note in the comments if, if if that's something that you can um you can appreciate or if that's something that you've been through in the past because I'm sure I'm not alone in that for me I would say there's like a few telltale signs for this like if I go through like a great shoot that I was really excited about and it feels like oh this really amazing thing happened or like I go to this conference or whatever that feeling afterwards the way it kind of manifests itself certainly it starts I would say with that bit of like sadness but also just a feeling of like not like hopelessness but just sort of like unknown like I don't know what to do with myself like it, it, it almost feels like I'm like rudderless for a little while and I'm like where where do I go from here what do I do in the coming days I tend to get like a little irritable like I personally find that I get frustrated more easily. I think because I'm just like, why isn't life always like that, right? And you have this come down period and, that, and that's hard. The other thing is that I tend to sort of like avoid the things I need to do when it comes to stuff surrounding that shoot or that experience. So like I have this great shoot or, and usually I can be really excited about like jumping into editing and stuff like that, but sometimes I almost get scared of doing it or I get scared of the final delivery of images or I get scared of like the fine details and stuff because it's almost like then it's over or like I get after I post something I'm like oh, I can't post that again <laughs> like that experience is over and so you kind of hold on to those last moments more tightly it's like when you don't want to finish a book you know like you have like 10 pages left or something and then you just like put it down for a while because you almost don't want to say goodbye I kind of think it's that same thing and that manifests itself sometimes in like not following up on things to do with the shoot or stuff like that and that's not a good 
thing to do for your clients. That's not a good thing to do for yourself, but it's an honest feeling and that's, that's something that happens to me sometimes. And so to keep this brief, to keep it straightforward, the question is like, how do we combat that? How do we effectively combat the low after the high or the issues that come with those peak experiences and, and how do we get back to an even thing? How do we combat that feeling? First thing I would say is don't. Don't try to push it away. Don't try and ignore it. Don't try and like fight through it. Maybe you need to sit in that discomfort. Maybe there's a lesson there. Maybe the fact that you feel that way is a genuine response to some stuff in you that needs to be worked on or needs to be worked through or that you just need to recognize maybe there is a bit of a loss there and i, th I this sounds weird and esoteric i know it's like I, I went to a photo conference what the fuck are you talking about but sometimes you just need to sort of grieve a little bit you just need to be like wow that was really special and that's it sometimes it was just special and that's great and there's nothing you can do to relive it there's nothing you can do to bring it back and when you realize that there's nothing you can do to bring it back that can be that can be tough, but it's okay. And if you sit with that discomfort for a little bit, you will be able to move through it. Without that integration into your workflow and into what you do, it kind of begs the question of what was it for? right and was it just for the experience that's okay if it was or was it for something bigger like improving what the you second do, thing or, i would say or, and and the or real just more like where the generally the like here really is like embracing the change that comes with from that the other thing i'll say is it doesn't just have to be something from that session session. Do, like i then you think there's actually a real merit it, and every time you go and, and you are something that's that a little more mundane for you like something that you do more often i do a lot of like portraits and stuff like that i'm going to do a portrait session on wednesday and my plan is to bring my film camera and do a little bit of film black and white portraiture. It's not something I do very often because it just doesn't fit into my workflow super well, but I have figured out a way to make it work and make it fit into my workflow and I'm excited about that. And so I have this like exciting thing to look forward to. It's not like a peak experience. It's something I can make myself excited about in a shoot that would otherwise be pretty straightforward for me. You know, I love all the shoots that I do. It's pretty rare I do a shoot I'm not excited about, but adding something that I can be really excited to explore or let's say there's like a particular shot you want to do that you've never done or something just giving yourself little tidbits of excitement within the daily stuff that you do I think it helps to keep that excitement higher um, without needing like peak peak experiences all the time so you're not doing this you're just sort of like at an even flow and then you like might have a little bit of wave that goes with it and, and, and it's a little bit easier and you can ride that a lot easier than you can ride those peaks and valleys. We'll leave that there for you today. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I'd love you to follow along. I appreciate those who do. Have a beautiful day. Go find something to be excited about in your next shoot. Peace. <laughs>